Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Farm Simulator 22, episode number six here of our multiplayer server farm. And in the last episode, we put down the greenhouses. I tried to make it look a little bit kind of more realistic because uh, we are going to build the whole farm up. Uh, realistically, I want to buy these three fields here. It's going to be 150,000. I really want these three and we'll probably turn one of them into some sort of animal pen. I'm thinking we might put cows in here. I think cows have got a good profit margin on them. Um, but yeah we'll see about that as you can see we've got 138,000 now even though we're on hard mode the guys are absolutely smashing the contracts out okay i got a floating deer okay he fell on the floor again flying deer okay we've got to be careful around it uh so the soybeans have just been uh taken up i do believe uh so we're coming to the end of the season they're going to try very quickly to get the winter barley or the uh, wheat in uh just in time for the end of this uh, so once that field's done there, just a quick cultivate and uh, barley or wheat in both soy fields is what's yeah, needed. Yeah, uh, the one on top is already cultivated and Jonathan is uh, Seeding. planting. Okay, perfect. So look, we got a little bit of money to play with because of all that hard work. Now the one thing that we need to do, and we're going to have a little bit more money because I believe this soybean field now is going to be taken up by Main Streets. And this field isn't ready yet, so... Uh, okay, it can't be far away. Okay, so, I say it won't be far away, like in game time when the uh, the minutes pass, at some point it'll just be finished. Yeah, probably. Okay, so, we're going to buy them some new toys. Now, the one thing that we are lacking the most is a decent tractor, as you can see. This is okay for going up and down to the shops. They do want another load loader. I don't know why. I think that one's probably the better one that I've seen. Uh, there are some... We got the uh, the new water tank. I brought this at the end of the last episode, but I didn't go and collect it. This is just to fill up the water over there. The hose is here as well for them. I'm not sure what somebody's dropped on the floor here. I'll have to pick it up eventually. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to treat the guys to something new. Now we have 138,000, and I'm trying to be smart about this uh, because we need a medium tractor, no doubt about it. So what is our options? What is the cheapest option? Okay, you're 33 grand, 180 horsepower. Okay, engine setup. Pretty cool. Okay, not really much to play with there on that side of things. So, this should have some good horsepower. And at the price of 33,000, I, I just can't see why they'd want to complain. I mean, I actually prefer, uh, I think I prefer it with the mud guards actually. Put some Michelins on there for an extra, how much, is, how much are they going to cost me? They're free. Continentals. Oh, I like them. I don't really think we need the wide tires, even though I, I like them. Um, okay, we have a hydraulic. We don't really need to be spending too much money on this stuff. Okay, so look, this tractor is what I'm going to buy them. Hopefully, they're going to be very excited by it. Can I use anything on the front of it, though? Ooh. No. But it's a great option, I think. Okay, we brought that. That's the first thing we're going to buy. Realistically, there's no other tractors here that uh, this size that we can spend as much money on. Hopefully, they're going to be happy with that one. Like, these are a ridiculous price now. You know, as much as I'd like to have any of these, uh, it's not going to happen just yet. Okay, truck wise, yeah, look. Oh, quite like the Mac. The Mac's nice. Not much we can do about these kind of things. Now, the other thing that we could possibly do is a harvester. Now, we've got the new Holland here for 55 grand. Now, when we're leasing them, it's costing us four or five grand at a time. 
Uh, what header does this need? This machine indicator for type of crops, suitable header. So th this can pretty much do anything. Uh, so where's the headers? Harvesters, potato, where are all my headers? I mean, these are, these are not cheap, eh? God, that's tiny. Four meters, 20. So that's 50, 60, 70,000 for that combine. Oh, that is a lot of money. Uh, that is all that money for the day. And you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's not tell anybody. Um, do we? Hmm. I think that's the only one that can go on it. Uh, it can do soybean, canola, wheat, does the basics. And that's all we're really growing at the moment. I mean, could it put one of these on eventually, I wonder? I don't know. I suppose it has its own one of these. The sunflower and corn. I'd say that had gone it quite happily. Okay, self made trailers. Let's have a look at our tractor. I mean, this thing should be a beast, right? It's old school, but a beast. Okay, can't believe I'm going to buy a combine harvester. Okay, so let's get the, the harvester. A lot of money, money well spent. They're going to be looking at it now going, what? Doesn't make a difference. We'll go for some Michelins. And of course, I need the header. Oh, they're going to be looking at going, no, all our money. But, I, you know, they've worked hard for that today. That's what we can put it down to. I really wanted to buy one of these for ourselves that we can't. Um, there's one more thing for grass that I wanted to try and get today if we could. And let's just have a quick look up here. Grassland cares, that would it be under? I don't know. Rollers. Mowers, maybe. Definitely going to need some of this stuff eventually. Um, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, mowers. Ah, this is what I'm after. Uh, so, this little thing here. Uh, it fills up with grass and then you can put it into the other thing. Well, right. well wasn't really much choice in the colors though, was it? Uh, so that's going to cost us five grand. Okay. And that actually collects the grass too. Other than that, I think that was going to be it for today. Um, spending wise. Hey! Why are you stealing my new tractor? I'm trying to take a picture. <laughs> It's going to be my fun though. Just come back here. Actually, can you move it forward a little bit so it sticks out past that combine? 
And keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop and come stand with me so I can get a nice picture about your name. Do you like your new toys? I like them. Uh, in case you, uh, or since you bought this, uh, I will cancel the lease on the other one. Uh, don't cancel unless you've emptied all the seeds out of it, otherwise we'll lose our seeds. Yeah, they're outside. They're in the trailer already, so... This tractor's old, but it, it's it's quite powerful. Powerful is good. So I'm hoping... I thought it was better to get a bit of an older tractor because we could have the combine as well. And this little grass cutter actually picks up the grass and in this bucket it goes into the back of that ute and you can sell the, the grass as like a bale. Oh, nice. So peep, someone can go, when they've got nothing else to do, can go around the fields there and pick up all, like, tidy up our fields. Okay. Jonathan, I don't know if you want to come down to the shop and have a look at your, your new toys. You need to bring something back with you. Main Street has already stole the tractor. You can take that back with you, then I'll take the little lawnmower. Let's go. I have top speed of 12 miles an hour. Oh, yesterday was so funny. We put uh, different uh, vehicles onto the trailer and drove like that. Wow, this thing is slow. <laughs> How's the tractor? It looks, it looks alright, I quite like it. Oh, I forgot it could do that. <laughs> Okay. The other thing about having the combine is if there's any combining jobs, at least we can make money on it now. Yep, true. Well, we used a lot of the borrowed material by now, so... Because, like, even to do our own fields, it was... The cheapest combine uh, was three three grand a day, plus, like, two grand for every hour. So, we got all these outskirts of these fields uh, that could do with, you know, a little bit of love, I suppose. So, I'm just going to put this down here for a second. And I'm going to... Is this being tied down? I would say it was tied down very well. There we go. And yep, okay. they fit. Oh, that's good. I, I, I thought it would. Because it's a little bit big for that small tractor, really. Okay, we're going to fold up this trailer. Okay, so what we're going to try is our little grass little hopper thing. See how this works. Okay, turn on mower. Should be as easy as that. I, don't, I think it should collect the grass as we go. Nice.
So now that we can keep our farm a little bit more tidy, uh, I like that a lot. I hate I hate when the grass is all overdone. So any of the staff, make sure you know if you ever stuck, got nothing to do, you know that you can be doing this uh, for sure. I think I should probably be going slower, right? Because it's destroying the grass. Hey, Jonathan's just brought the new combine back. I just want to fill up a load to see. Uh, I suppose, yeah, we're, we're supposed to go a lot slower, I'll assume. Still makes marks in the grass, though. Now, this box should open up into the back of the U, I believe, so that's the other reason why we're giving this a good test, is because I want to uh, take some pictures for the guys so they know what they need to do with it. Not saying that I know what I'm doing with it, because I haven't got a clue. But yeah, so look, if we have a board or, you know, a little bit of maintenance on the ground, keep everyone a little bit busy now. Look at that. Looks much nicer, especially when it comes to summer. Okay, well, we're pretty much full. Okay, so now we're full. Let's see how this bad boy is going to work. that all that that can do just to make sure yeah righty turn on mower tip side low unload here well I want it to unload onto the back of this But didn't really go to plan. Okay. Balls. Um, so when you unload it, it doesn't quite go onto the back of our little truck. I've done nothing but make a mess on the floor. So we need to buy a scoop as well so we can move it. But even if we clean up the grass, if we have a little silo now, we can turn it into... Um, the other stuff, you know, when you flatten it down and it makes a lot of money. I can't think what it's called. Uh, no idea. So, but I don't know what's going wrong with the, the little machine. Uh... Oh no, it's working perfectly. But when we empty the grass, uh, it needs to be picked up with a scoop and a shovel. So we need to get a, a shovel for the front loader on the tractor. Okay, if you buy one, I will pick it up in the store uh, in a minute. All right, just let, let me know when you can. Well, you, you can buy it anyways when you're down there. Oh yeah, true. I'm just rolling the field now, so... Okay, we might as well uh, finish our little job here. And then we can say we've done something for today's episode nearly. Uh, as well as this, I do want to... I mean, we don't have a lot of money, but I would like to put some money uh, into something else as well. As we continue to build this up. Be nice to put our combine in a nice shed if we can afford one, but that I don't know. But this is this is very relaxing. Uh, we could do with a silo for the grass. That'd be pretty handy as well.
Okay. That is another line. That was me thinking it was the field. Okay. That is full again already. Wow. Alright, before we enter then, let's see, is there something we can build? If we go into our construction then. So, sheds. What have we got shed-wise? Ah, there's the vehicle workshop. You can drive your vehicles on. Oh, that was cool. That's what we needed over there, really. That would have been better than that one. Damn, maybe we can still put it over there. Okay, so we got 10 grand. That is the shed that we currently own, isn't it? Yeah. Could be a possibility. 44,000. 150. Oh, it's got solar panels. Nothing on that one. Wow. Oh, these sheds are wicked. Tool wise, nothing new there. Container wise, nothing new. This is the silo that I'm thinking of, isn't it? Silo to storm... Oh no, that's manure. Maybe that's not the silo I was thinking of. Ah, uh, this is it. The bunkers. Bug site can be filled with chaff, grass, or hay. Wow, look at that bad boy. 25 grand though. That's exactly what we need. Damn. That is a lot of money. God, 117,000 is what we need next. Okay, we've got loads of new decorational parts as well, which is good. Uh, we can have a play with them in a minute. What are these? Just just stuff. Okay, that's cool. Okay, building wise, this is what we needed. I needed a shed. Now, this is the shed I actually quite liked, but I didn't realise how expensive that was gonna be. You know, it's not quite the one I wanted to have here, but I'm thinking on the back here. Now we could have chickens on either side of that. Our shed is becoming small. Oh, I know. Okay, how about... I sell you. Landscaping. This is not my favorite thing to do here. Okay. Just a little bit. Uh, small cow pen. Jesus, 75 grand. Horses, 55 grand. I wonder maybe with horses. You know, horses could fit in there, you know. Like, that could be... 26 grand for the sheep. The sheep also fit in there quite nicely. I wouldn't want them to overlap. Okay. And then we got the bees. Do these need to be near the beehives or not? Probably not, right? Okay, first things first, we need a shed. 
8,000. Well, that's nice, 44 grand. Okay. I'm gonna have to work out how to get this in here nicely and I still would like to keep Now there's just a gap here. That's what annoys me a little bit. And I want to put them sheep in. I don't know if the combine harvester will fit in here either. The more I look at it. Have a look at this landscaping a bit more. There's money sinking away. Okay. Really wish there was just something else, but doesn't seem to be. Just want to have a look at that animal pen again. If we were to put, say, some sort of sheep or something in. And the problem we have, actually, is the sheep. Or someone was uh, how big? Pig pen. Yeah, the pigs need a lot of work. Horses don't really. But we still need to get tractors in and out. Yeah, the cows is huge. But still, we'd want it to come out to at least there. Okay, what if I actually just use that as my marker? Okay. So if that was our marker, say. <laughs> I made somebody drive into it. And they can still get up and around there. Who did I make drive into the shed by accident? That would be Jonathan. I'm just uh, picking up the bucket, so... Okay, so that shit can go in there, and then we can put a new set of animals just in here. I think it would be pretty fun. Uh, like I said, it would be nice if we could get... Maybe some sort of sheep, or... Not a fan of the pig. Definitely think sheep or horses just in here would be nice. But we'll see. And then I'd like to decorate it all up as well. At some point. 
Okay. I should have some big shelves and stuff in here. What's this do? Some cans. Nice, nice, nice. This is all decorative, really. And I, I want to make the place look and feel realistic. That's what I'll be looking for. Um... You know, for me, it's the little details. Brothers, they probably won't even notice it. I don't understand how we're overlapping, but anyways. Must Ooh, be a, a new shot. Must be. <laughs> Must be a, a mod for that or something. Okay, uh, let's... See, I hate that we can't go over there properly. Everything overlaps. I think that's a, a real big shame. Where do you want uh, the grass? Uh, I'm going to be honest with the grass. I'm not sure because we can't afford the silo. The silo is like 50 grand. Uh, so okay. just just put it in. Uh, yeah. It can go in a trailer and it can be sold at the biogas. Oh no, it doesn't go in that one. It can only go in the tipper trailer, obviously. Just put it in the grass somewhere on the side out of the way for a minute. Okay. I, th I think what we're waiting for is the soybean in one of the in field 66 to finish growing. It should be done any minute now. Right, okay. uh, there, are, there is some seed in that trailer waiting for it till that field's done. Yeah. And then once that's done, it needs cultivating very quickly, hopefully before the season runs out, uh, so we can mm -hmm. put in barley or wheat, just so we can get something out of the field. Um, other than that, I think it's back to contract work in the short term. Okay. There's chickens, cool. chickens there to be fed. The greenhouses need water. There's a tract up the road. There seems to be a tree just all over the floor up there as well that we need to get rid of at some point. Um, yeah, we're, we're building, but we're building quite slowly. We're on hard mode, so everything's costing a bomb. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> but we are. We own everything that we have here now. We own. Right. Okay. Pretty much. So there is a tract up the road. There's two tractors there now. Yeah. You'll see. Um. And you'll roughly see how it's all kind of organised. It's kind of chaos I suppose mm -hmm. wait so where's this tree I'll go and sort that out uh, so if you go up to the red tractor that's up the hill uh, Jonathan's going up there with the little ute if you follow him yep. you can both put it in the trailer there I suppose yeah alright sure right. okay on our point of view now that we've done that uh not really much else I can put in here for these, these bits. guys. Oh, yeah, 
That makes stone into lime. That's going to be handy at some point. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to mess up your stacking, Jonathan. Are, that, are you trying to stack it properly, or are you just, just don't really care? Jonathan will type back to you. He's not. He hasn't got his mic, so um, yeah. You'll see it on the screen, probably. No, he's just good at him, right? Okay. Just checking. I know some people like to be very organised. <laughs> probably not us. But basically, look, how the server runs, it's a, it's a bit of a free-for-all, like, as the seasons go by, if things need doing, do them. Um, in the Discord day, you'll see, like, to-do jobs. So say if you left, but you know that you've planted a field, just make sure you let people know, or, you yeah. know, this needs to be brought up at this day, or you've left some stuff down at the shop that needs to be... Whatever the, it is, just make sure you write a little list, so whoever goes on next roughly knows what he has to go and do. All right, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Um... And then, yeah, I'll give you the perms for contract work and stuff like that. Hang on. Okay. That is floating. That browser's annoying me. Give me a minute. Okay. Bro, these bits of wood are floating. How are they floating? Uh, there were Bambies floating in the air earlier, so... <laughs> they're like on the trailer, but like they're not actually level. They're just floating. <laughs> uh, so we do have a diesel wash and maintenance area down here as well. The only thing we say is just, you know, give the machines a wash if they're dirty, fuel them and put them in a shed. Right. So everyone knows where they are so they're not scared. Because earlier on I came in and I found a ute inside one of these greenhouses. I wasn't too impressed. Right. So it just needs to be in any of those sheds over there. Yeah, basically, you, you, there, there's no real... We I've only just put down that second shed because we're desperate. Yeah. Um, like I said, once you kind of play a little bit, you, you'll get used to it with these guys. They'll, they'll kind of guide you what they want them to do. Yeah. Is it like a farm leader, or is that you? That's me. Right, that's you. <laughs> I wasn't sure if there was like somebody who was on like mainly... No, so basically what what it will do, I will put up jobs so people can have individual jobs to look after certain areas, but we're just not quite big enough yet. Once yeah. we get a couple more fields, you know, you can split it up a bit more and people can look after certain bits of the farm. And yeah. the next thing I plant, well, we're desperate for a silo. So the thing that we really need is a small silo. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, today, between all these guys, they managed to grind out on hard mode, like 80 grand on, on jobs, so... Well, I can easily sit on farms and I have all bloody days, so... Well, you, you'll you'll make good friends with BDOT. BDOT's on most of the day. Jonathan was on all day today, even though he wasn't supposed to be. Um, Main Streets has been on quite a bit too, so yeah, look. So guys, I think uh, with our new additions to our shed here, uh, we've got our new tractors and stuff. I think that'll do it for today's episode. It's now gone into the uh, next month and the harvest over there is ready to be collected. Uh, I know it's a bit of a slow kind of series at the moment. Obviously, I'm trying to build things up as we go. I want to make it look kind of real nice as I can. Uh, hopefully, you guys are still enjoying this. I know the guys playing on the server are really enjoying themselves. Hopefully, you guys are too. Uh, it's always good to let me know in the comments down below. Is it worth carrying on or not? Uh, if not, then obviously, you know, we could scrap it, etc. So, please let me know. Uh, but other than that, myself, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.